A hydroelectric plant having 30 square kilometers of reservoir area and 100 meter head is used to generate power. So that's called our reservoir area as a sub R. And let's convert this into meters first. So this is in scientific notation that is 30 million square meters and 100 meter head let's call that h the the energy utilized by the consumers whose load is connected to the power plant during a five hour period is 13 and a half uh what's this million kilowatt hours so uh, that's our energy output during a five hour period. The overall generation efficiency is 75%. Find the fall in the height of water in the reservoir after the five hour period. So we're looking for, looking for some kind of height in meters. Presumably a difference in height. So let's draw our problem. This is our water height at zero hours. And uh, this is our water height after five hours. So zero hours after five hours. And then let's imagine this is a wall in the dam. And we are trying to find this height, this change in height after five hours. Okay, so in order to find that, it looks like we need to find the volume of our reservoir here. So that was the volume of water that has been taken away. Okay. So using this... Um, Using common sense, this is V is equal to area of the reservoir times whatever delta H is. So this is what we're trying to find. But first we need to find our volume. So this one's given. We're trying to find volume first. So what comes to mind when we are trying to look for volume is Q. That's the volumetric flow rate. And that is present in the water power equation, which is gamma times the Q times our head. And we also know that the energy output is simply water power times the efficiency times the period. Okay, so... It looks like we have our energy output. We have our head. We know what this is. We know the efficiency and we know the period. So if we single this out, we should be able to find our volumetric flow rate. So let's put the values in. So we can single out Q and this should return a value of 3,669.72 uh, cubic meters per second. Okay. So using dimensional analysis here, if we need to get rid of, if we need to get cubic meters, which is this one, can simply, can simply, uh, let's use this color. So this is the same as this. V is equal to Q times something with seconds. That is our period. 
right? And then this becomes 3669.72 cubic meters per second. And then we multiply that by our period. Let's not forget to multiply this by 3600 so that we get it in seconds. These two cancel out. All right. So if we multiply this Q and T, it should return a value of 66 million 50,050 cubic meters. So that's how much water has that has been removed after uh, five hours. So now we have our V, and we should be able to find our delta H via direct substitution. Okay, so putting that in our calculator, let's see what happens. And there we go. We have a fall in the height of water of 2.2 meters. Exact. And that is our final answer. Leave a like and subscribe if this helped you. And uh, that's it. Good luck.